Hello and welcome to the video. In this video I'd like to take a look at these couple of things here. Now these are bundles that Hollybro have just started to sell and I've got a couple in because I'm about to do another quadcopter build series because when I asked about the things that you like to see on the channel one of the big things that came back was how you like to watch me build stuff. So we're definitely going to do another quadcopter. So I've got some uh, motors in, a little bit different actually. These guys here, uh, Foxeer Tourers, never used them before, but 2206 2700, so these should be absolute little beasties. Uh, we're going to use good old uh, Dal props, the Cyclones, uh, these are current, my favourites. I've uh, got loads of different colours here, so we'll see what kind of frame we end up with. I've got a frame on the way, but because these little bundles not only include the flight controller, the uh, FPV bits and bobs as well, they also include the ESCs, all I need is a frame, receiver, uh, camera and just the bare basics really to put this stuff together but I wanted to very quickly open these on camera to show you how they come because it looks like Hollybro have been innovating a little bit with their ESCs now these new ESCs are called the Teco 32s uh, they're running BL Heli 32 but they're actually 35 amp ESCs 2 to 6S LiPo and they also have uh, current sensor with a telemetry pad. So I'm interested how we can get this working with the latest versions of things like Betaflight and how you set all of that up. So that'll be part of the next build series. So the two different versions of this that I've got here of this uh, all-in-one kit. The first one is includes the Kakute F4 all-in-one V2 flight controller with the Atlatl HV and then it has four of those Teco 32 35 amp ESCs and then the other one we've got here is the Kakute F4V2 with the Atlatl FPV bits and pieces and this one has the 4 in 1 ESC combo. Now recently we looked at another stack on a model and we put it together that was the one from Esheen where it also had a separate HD camera and it wasn't particularly great. I'm excited about these two because we've already put or flown things that have both the Atlatl and the Kakute flight controller in the middle. The first was the Coppice one from Hollybro. Lots of reviewers, not just me, really, really like that. It's quite an expensive model, but it is beautiful. And then I also copied that setup that was in that ready-to-fly model that flew so well and stuck it inside the Bolt RC build. So I'm very used to dealing with these couple of things. So I'm excited to see what's different, particularly with the ESCs. So let's just open these and see what comes in them. So this one I'm opening first is the one with the F4 flight controller the Atlatl FPV system and the 4-in-1 ESC. So the first box is the Atlatl HV. That looks like the very latest version, the one that has the super low power mode as well. So that is something that we've um, used a lot. So really a big fan of that. But this is the bit I'm really interested in. Let's have a look at this. So in here we have this little flight stack, we have some mounting hardware to mount it to a chassis, we have what looks like another anti-vibration pad or two with another little ribbon cable, and then here is the main event. So what we have here is we have the flight controller, uh, we have the falling one ESCs at the bottom, and then we've got the mounting hardware so we can pop this little fella on the top as well and that should make a reasonably compact stack just get an idea of how tall that is so it's about 28 millimeters top to bottom depending on what standoffs you use so that could be a nice little compact middle so we just need to add the receiver the camera and wire up the motors so that's one of the options for the builds. The other option is this version here of this bundle. Again, this is the F4 all-in-one V2 uh, with the four Teco ESCs. So again, another Atlatl HV, which is that smart video transmitter. So you can set it all up and play with the Betaflight on-screen display. And then here's the other box. So that was the one we've just opened. Here's the other one. Uh, Kikute F4 all-in-one. 
Let's have a look at this. Oh, wow. Okay. So there is the flight controller. Uh, now, we looked at this a while ago. Uh, it's a very, very nice little flight controller. Again, with the vibration isolated IMU. We have the mounting hardware. And then we have four of these new ESCs. Uh, so we have the power wires, the signal in the middle. That actually looks really pretty. So I'm going to wait and see what the frame's like that I've got coming in. And we'll see which one of these fits. Uh, but either of these, I think, could make a very nice flight controller and FPV setup for the build that I'm about to do. But I just wanted to kind of unpack and show you these on the video. Because both of them, if you're looking for some decent quality electronics that are just going to work, both of these are definitely worth a look. If you found that video useful or like the content, then please hit the like and subscribe button down below. If you want to go the extra step, you can become a Patreon of the Painless 360 channel and help provide support for what I do here. All the videos created here are put into playlists, so if you're interested in a particular topic, have a look at the playlist, and they all are organised in there to make them easier to use. If you're not sure if there's a video for your particular problem or topic you want to know more about, then add Painless360 to the Google search term that you're interested in, and that should find the video, article or content about the particular thing that you're interested in having a look at.